All right, guys, you might be wondering, like, dude, what happened to the plan? Like, why is the engine out of the 350Z? Well, I'm going to explain it right now. Okay, guys, so if you've seen the video where I picked this thing up, was that crash 350Z. Um, turns out that engine does have Tomei cams and a ported intake. And um, I finally reached out to the, the previous owner and we worked out a deal for the computer for it because it's tuned on E85. So I couldn't pass up the opportunity. So I pulled the engine out of this, the engine out of my car, of course, and I'm gonna dress up the engine that come out of this with the cams and everything. And we're gonna sit down in my car. So <laughs> I just hope this this engine is actually good. Like I said, I know mine's good. Besides of the uh, oil gallery gasket issue, which I had, I got the stuff to replace that. Like I said, and I bought uh, Z1 intakes and um, a radiator, bunch of other little things, engine mounts because these mounts like they just get trashed, they fall apart. So in this video, I'm gonna get this engine, this engine dressed with everything and put it in my car so i'm gonna take all the stuff off that engine like the wiring harness and all that stuff because this stuff is like trashed and my manifolds and everything because the headers are gone already um yeah so take the manifolds off take my wiring harness off put it on this car and then put this engine and in, back into my shell and put all the bits and pieces the front stuff on it and hope that it's going to work it uh, shouldn't take shouldn't take too long to do this I'm not gonna bore you guys with like me switching the wiring harness and stuff because you know I'm gonna take my time and get all the little clips and stuff so the harness actually stays where it's supposed to be which is a very important you know if you ever seen a car fire <laughs> you'll understand so yeah I'm gonna take my time get that knocked out and I just you know might you know might show you guys me putting the engine in or something like that I don't know but uh, let's see if I can show you what I'm talking about um, under here you can kind of see i mean just the harness is like all zip tied and you know it doesn't really stay where it's supposed to be they don't broke off the little all the little connectors so and like they got some stuff going on down there this question mode like some some uh wire extending and stuff you can just see it's just not it's not a uh you know like stuff like this on the computer side which is probably no big deal but if I have a nice harness, I might as well use it. So, and I was trying to get this this powder coating to come off, but that stuff it's on there to stay, which it looks really bad because it's all flaking and peeling. But it is what it is. It's just gonna have to stay. I don't have time to uh, to dress it up and everything. So, but yeah. Actually, I'm gonna put my uh, put the Z1 engine mounts on switch them to the manifolds just because it makes it easier to get the engines in and out of the car these headers are like absolute nightmare it's by sure a miracle that i actually got <laughs> that i actually pulled them out on the engine um as you can see we uh we broke some stuff uh, doing so <laughs> so yeah yeah I, like i said I, I i like headers i like what they do for you but i just i don't I like to have my car easy to work on so i'm not a fan of like long tube headers at all so uh yeah so that's what we're gonna do i'm gonna get this stuff switched out and um i'll resume the video when we're putting everything in and you know we'll get everything buttoned up and fire this thing up so let me get to it all right so i got the wiring harness and everything taken off the engine but whether it's a good decision or not i decided to do a few little things so i figured i'd show you guys real quick um but these right here are like the coolant passages that come up here to your throttle bodies. I know that's supposed to help warm your car up and stuff, but I was just trying to make it simple and I just deleted them. I just kind of cut them down, put a big, you know, bead of weld on them. And the ported intake, one of the little ears was broken off the front. So I just went ahead and cut it and kind of cleaned it up. So these are the coolant passages for the throttle bodies. I just went ahead and knocked those guys off. Spin this thing around. 
And these are like the little ears right here I'm talking about. Uh, this one was broken off. You can kind of see where it kind of cracked a little bit. So I just kind of, you know, cut them off and ground them down. I think it kind of makes it look a little cleaner. I'm not going to take these guys off because I think I'm going to run nitrous on this thing. So I might use that to like bolt my solenoids down or something like that. But yeah, this, this harness that was on this engine, total trash. Like there was so many broken connectors. Some of the connectors, would, they weren't even like holding in there. They were just like the wires were sitting down and on the, the pins. So yeah, it was, it was pretty bad. Um, that's pretty much it. And like I said, I know like this bolt right here is stripped out. Um, kind of bumps me out, but it's, it's gonna be okay. And one of the transmission bolts for the, <laughs> for the um, mount is actually stripped. But I think I'm just gonna try to fix it and use this transmission because I don't want to make more work for myself by like unbolting this one and using that one, which wouldn't be that much more work. But anyway, I know that transmission's good. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if this one's good. Um, and it was missing the, uh, the vent tube. So I just snatched one off of like an older DE style. It's like that instead of HR car. Man, I got a mess of stuff. I like the HR car where it's got like this little plastic cap and everything. So now, I mean, I'm kind of going back with the headers now. I don't know because like I forgot that these manifolds were freaking all cut up. The previous owner, I guess when they put the test pipes on there, they trying to cut the studs out or something i don't know they're all chewed up so now i'm thinking about like going back out backing out on the deal for the headers because i'm like i don't know i don't want to put these on and they start leaking or something like that even though they wasn't leaking in the car but still um i don't know i just i don't know i might try the headers just bolt the passenger side up or the driver side up which seems gonna be the, the hardest one to get to and see if I can snake it into the chassis, then just put the passenger side on. But I know those things are gonna be a pain to mess with, so. But anyway, I'm gonna get the harness and everything, because as you can see, it's just, there's all kind of stuff on these <laughs> engines, so. And I got all new silicone hoses that I'm gonna use. Um, as you can see, like those hoses for the throttle bodies, they just kind of come up here and snake around into this and all that. I also cut that you know, cut the coolant passages off the back of this. So it's gonna clean it up a good bit. Not that I really care. I just, I'm trying to get rid of the failure points of all this. And it makes taking the intake off for like servicing a whole lot better, you know, easier. Cause you don't even have to, you know, disconnect these hoses. You just kind of take the bolts off and pop it up. So, and I don't know why I have a battery sitting there. It just seemed like a good place. So I'm hoping this is gonna work out. I'm just gonna go ahead and get this knocked out. I'll probably, I might run these headers. I'm going to bolt the passenger side or the driver side up and see if it goes in and goes in the car easily because I don't want to like scratch up my engine bay that I just painted. So but yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and get this engine dressed up. We'll get it sitting in there. This one go way faster than you guys think. These things are super, super easy to work on. So switch this wiring harness over and then move, you know, do the whole car shuffle thing and move these things out of the way. And, uh, yeah set her in there so let me get to it and uh we'll get this done if there's anything else i'll, I'll show you guys but we'll get back to work i swear man anytime you do something like this you think it's gonna be like oh it's easy to switch this switch that done nope will not the universe will not allow it to be that way <laughs> okay the transmission i was going to use with the engine with the cams a lot of stuff both the bolts were stripped out for the transmission mount so I'm like, well, I can just use this. I'll just, you know, drill them out, put some studs in and stuff like that. But I had to get the mount off of the other transmission, which ended up breaking the bolts off in it. Even putting some heat to them and stuff like that with some penetrating oil, they still broke off. Check this out. So that's what I'm talking about. The bolts just snapped. Um, so yeah, that sucked but I can drill it out, but which is what I had to do over here. Uh, you know, they were stripped out, so I just drilled out the hole and kind of tapped them, but I put it like a little nut on top because it freaking, it turned into a nightmare. It's really ugly right here, <laughs> but I got the mount on there finally. So 
Now this is supposed to be slide forward and back. I'm just hoping and praying that it's in a good position because these bad boys are not going to want to loosen back up for sure. So as you can tell, it's been a nightmare. But got that done. I'm going to finish taking the wiring harness off this car, this engine I started. Um, so once I transfer the wiring harness, put the engine mounts on, I should be ready to sit in the car. Yeah, already regretting this because the my car was running and driving. I just had to put the oil gallery gaskets on it. So I'm starting to think that'd have been a way easier option and just selling the engine with the cams and stuff. So <sighs> The next video I'll be sitting, or the next little clip, whatever you want to call it, I'll be sitting the engine in the car. I just want to show you guys that because that was extremely irritating. And since both transmissions had an issue, I'm assuming it's pretty common, I guess. I don't know. But all right, I'm going to get back to it. All right, some of you guys might be wondering, hey, did that header thing work? Uh, not really. Uh, the steering shaft is definitely in the way. If you have a regular steering shaft, it's easy enough to kind of take it loose and slide the joint up and like take it completely off. But I did that rack relocation and I extended my rack or my, the steering shaft, whatever you wanna call it. So mine won't extend up, I made it too long. So but yeah, if you can get the steering shaft out of the way and do it that way, that would work. Um, it did work though, engine's in. <laughs> so we did manage to get the engine in, um, but I scratched my engine bay up uh, a little bit. Right there, that's not a big deal. But this one right here absolutely sucks. So that irritated me. But um, it's not too bad. It's in there. So like so this isn't a perfect car in anyway. It's been cut up and pieced back together. Who knows how many times. But the Z1 engine mounts, those things are dope. They give you a lot of clearance and it just kind of, it fell right into place with no big deal. So now all we gotta do is jack this thing up hook everything up and fire this whole girl up and i gotta drain the tank because when i drove it the other day i put a full tank of gas in it and this thing runs on e85 all right guys my camera died so i just soldiered on and got the engine and everything down in the z it's looking pretty good but it's not running very good it's running like absolute garbage i don't know what's going on so we're just gonna have to take it and get it tuned and uh hope that everything is mechanically fine like it's barely even like runnable so um kind of sucks <laughs> but got the z1 intakes on here um i said nothing really weird happened just hooking the stuff up you know just getting the engine all hooked up and the front end's finally fully assembled which is going to be heartbreaking if something is wrong with this engine or something weird and i have to take all this back apart so fingers crossed that that's not the issue but it just seems weird that it seemed like it was running okay in that car and now it's running really really bad so i know he was had that car tuned on e85 so i like i drained all the fuel out of my tank multiple times and put just pump e85 in it and it's still not very happy so but i did end up going with like my uh, old exhaust system and these intakes are different than what he was running but i, I can't see it making that big of a um that big of a difference but anyway so that's gonna be it for now uh, i'm gonna have to like book a, a you know dyno day and let someone um work their magic and see if they can get this thing tuned so yeah so that's unfortunate but it's together so <laughs> you know like i said i told you guys a bunch of times i am the master at taking a running driving car and turning it into a project um as you've just seen i had a running project car that that i turned into a project car and it was running and driving and then i turned it into a project car if that makes any sense but anyway <laughs> that's it for this video the next video we're going to take the car put it on the dyno and uh see if we can get it running correctly again 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 yeah all right guys it's kind of a bummer but it is what it is i'll see you on the next one when we hit the dyno so stay tuned appreciate you guys oh well some of you might be wondering hey did the the, the one header thing i got dirt all over my face look at that yeah don't worry how are you going to let me do that? <sighs> it's a real YouTuber right here and then that pretty boy stuff. Real deal. <laughs> <laughs>